Russian-American relations seem to have entered a long period not just of sharp competition, but of confrontation. Such an unpleasant conclusion is prompted not only by the objective dynamics of relations, but also by the analysis of the current interests of the elites of the two countries. Both countries are gearing up for a high-tech war using artificial intelligence, drones, robots, and other advanced technologies. Considering the leap in technology development over the past few years, it can be confidently stated that robots are becoming increasingly prominent. In this video, we will compare how far the US and Russia have progressed in creating advanced humanoid robots, and also find out which country is better prepared for the impending confrontation. We will specifically focus on general-purpose humanoid robots and compare the technologies involved in their creation. At the moment, Russian robots lag behind their American counterparts in terms of technological advancement. They are less agile, can perform fewer tasks, and their artificial intelligence is not as developed. However, Russian robots have several advantages over their American competitors. For example, the realism of the robots. For instance, the Russian company Promobot has created one of the most realistic robots in the world, Dunyasha. In addition to its realism, the robot has also been recognized as the most beautiful humanoid robot. She is a humanoid robot cashier created by a Russian company. According to the developers, the robot can introduce itself to people and recognize them upon repeated encounters, as well as engage in conversation on both free and programmed topics. Additionally, her character is imbued with artificial intelligence. Dunyasha is easy to communicate with. She is feminine, slightly ironic, and of course, a responsible employee of the Cyber Cafe. A friendly and sociable robot who is always glad to greet guests. Everyone will find it interesting to interact with her, regardless of age. A special pride of the specialist is the covering that simulates human skin, which allows Dunyasha not to look like a plastic doll. She possesses high levels of elasticity and is close in characteristics to real human skin. This allows for movements with artificial facial muscles to be as precise as possible. She can blink, move her eyebrows and lips. In her memory are over 600 variations of human micro-expressions, making her emotional expressions extremely realistic. The head, arms, and neck also move. The RoboC2 hands are capable of withstanding a load of up to one kilogram. For example, Dunyasha can show directions or shake hands with an interlocutor. Anyone can order a humanoid robot, which will cost approximately 15 million rubles or $170,000. The appearance is customizable according to the customer's wishes. American robots have an answer to all the latest Russian developments. While they may not stand out as much in terms of realism, they have no equals in technical terms. The humanoid robot Figure 01 from Figure AI can hold conversations, answer questions, describe its environment, and perform assigned tasks, all while maintaining a conversation with the interlocutor. As of today, Figure 01 stands at 168 centimeters tall, weighs around 60 kilograms, and can handle a useful load of up to 20 kilograms, while moving at a decent speed for a robot at 4.3 kilometers per hour. Its batteries last for five hours of operation, so it is not entirely intended to meet your needs around the clock. The uniqueness of this robot lies in its full interaction with humans. It perceives requests through vision and hearing and provides complete answers. For example, it can see surrounding objects and discern their purpose. Vision and speech are processed by GPT-4 Vision and ChatGPT technologies respectively, while hearing is provided by Whisper Jacks. Figure AI has created the skeleton of the work and models responsible for movement and spatial orientation. This is perhaps one of the most unusual Russian robots with incredibly realistic facial expressions. The company W Expo created an anthropomorphic robot named Artie, based on the RoboC robotic platform from Promobot. According to the creators, the robot has anatomically correct mechanical movements, a wide range of microfacial expressions, and elastic silicone skin. Artie was presented by developers at the International Exhibition Forum Russia. The robot can express emotions, play, sing, and interact with the people. The development is based on software with motion capture technology, which reproduces human emotions, facial expressions, and gestures. According to the developers, the project's goal is to showcase the advanced capabilities of robotics and artificial intelligence, inspire and entertain the audience, demonstrating the potential of robots in various spheres of life and business. A team of directors and screenwriters worked on the robot's behavioral scenarios, while engineers worked on its mobility and facial expressions. 
The robot recited poetry and sang songs to visitors at the booth, introducing them to the sights of the perm cry. Moreover, this robot became the world's first serial solution with such capabilities. The creator stated that Artie is available for production on request in any quantity. The Optimus Gen 2 robot from Tesla is perhaps one of the most serious competitors to Russian robots. It is designed as a general purpose machine that can assist people in various fields such as manufacturing, construction, healthcare, and entertainment. The robot stands at 1.8 meters tall and weighs 55 kilograms, and it can move at a speed of 8 kilometers per hour. It has 35 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move its joints in different directions and angles. Pressure sensors are built into its fingers, allowing for delicate handling of fragile objects. The robot also has a more human-like appearance and movements due to its new arms, legs, neck, and body. The robot's neck has two degrees of freedom and can tilt and rotate its head, giving it more expressiveness and flexibility. Electronics and wiring are integrated into the robot's body, making it more streamlined and durable. It also features a new white color scheme. Recently, under operator control, the humanoid robot Optimus demonstrated its ability to accurately fold t-shirts on a table, astonishing Russian engineers. And this seemingly beautiful girl, who is actually also a Russian hyper-realistic humanoid robot, has already landed a job in a government institution due to the embedded artificial intelligence. This is the first humanoid robot twin in Russia, capable of performing the duties of a document reception specialist and providing government services. The robot is a fully anthropomorphic machine. It mimics human emotions. It can move its eyes, eyebrows, lips, and other facial muscles, communicate, and answer questions. The technology allows reproducing over 600 variations of human micro-expressions. The company's specialists also use their technology for creating artificial skin. The robot's appearance was created by a neural network based on the analysis of several thousand Russian women. The result was a generalized image, a girl with light brown hair and brown eyes. The robot independently receives visitors to the center. The applicant simply approaches the window, where they are greeted by an automated specialist. An entire ecosystem has been created around the android. The machine is connected to other devices and services. For example, the robot scans documents and then, based on the type of document, generates an application. The visitor signs the application, the robot scans it, and sends it further. Moving from ordinary robots to military developments, let's start with the Russian robot named Fyodor. This is the first Russian humanoid military robot with built-in artificial intelligence. The robot stands at 1.8 meters tall, weighs around 160 kilograms, and has a power of 20 horsepower. Fyodor has several features. For example, it became the first robot in the world to learn how to do the splits, and it also learned how to shoot a pistol with both hands, which sparked serious interest from Russian military officials. The advantage of the Fyodor robot over other humanoid creations in the field of robotics is that it can be used in real-life scenarios. For example, there are videos showing Fyodor skillfully using a screwdriver and an electric drill. The Android technology company which created the robot is trying to emphasize practical applications. Currently, the winner in the market is the one who can make the robot truly useful, first in a narrowly specialized environment, and then more broadly. Fyodor was initially created as an assistant on the ISS, primarily intended for repairs and maintenance on the orbital station. He is capable of identifying typical objects and tools and can distinguish obstacles. It can also open doors, use a drill, drive a car, and a quad bike autonomously. The first prototypes of the robot were operated by a human. Currently, Fyodor can move autonomously. Due to the development of neural networks, the robot is actively evolving. For example, if the robot sees that a person is injured and needs help, it will understand on its own what needs to be done. For example, move them to a safe place. In 2019, Fyodor became the first humanoid robot to officially visit space. Recently, it became known that the android is set to return to space this year with the crew to the International Space Station. Another challenge to Russian robotics comes from the American robotics company Boston Dynamics and its humanoid robot Atlas. The robot has been taught not just to walk, but to detect obstacles, select support points for its feet, coordinate the transfer of body mass during movement, and lift and carry heavy automotive parts. Standing at around 1.5 meters tall and weighing about 86 kilograms, Atlas operates on its own powerful compact battery. It controls its movements in real time using cameras located at the front of its head. 
The robot has around 30 joints in its arms and legs, and sensors placed throughout its body measure acceleration, position in space during movement, and other parameters of interaction with the environment. All computations are performed on board the robot. It's worth mentioning that Atlas developed these abilities through extensive training and various tests conducted by developers who are tirelessly working to perfect their creation. Someday, Atlas will emerge from the testing laboratory. Time will tell what application it will have in real life. The robot Digit has been developed by the American company Agility Robotics since 2019, based on its predecessor named Cassie. It stands at 175 centimeters tall. Despite weighing 65 kilograms, the robot is capable of lifting and carrying loads weighing up to 18 kilograms in its manipulators. Unlike many other humanoid robot models, Digit features knee joints that are bent backward, resembling bird legs. This leg shape facilitates the robot's interaction with objects at ground level. Developers have recently improved the platform's motion algorithm, allowing the robot to perform two dynamic actions simultaneously. The control system for Digit has been redesigned to provide enhanced behavioral capabilities, such as climbing stairs and step planning, all controlled through a reliable application accessible both onboard the robot and wirelessly. The primary purpose of the robot is expected to be tasks related to carrying and sorting loads in warehouses and logistics centers. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.